Traditionally, in divorce cases, courts awarded one parent physical custody of a child. Starting in the 1970s, joint custody emerged as a preferred alternative if both parents were capable and involved with their children. One issue joint custody presents is which parent has final authority to make important decisions for the child. In J.R. v. M.S., the court resolved this issue by dividing decision-making authority into designated zones, without regard to physical custody. J.R. and M.S., parents of a 10-year-old boy, divorced in 2014. For the next two years, the parties tried to reach a parenting plan regarding their son, but couldn't reach agreement. After numerous failed settlement conferences, the matter proceeded to trial. A forensic psychiatrist testified that the father's rigidity and idiosyncrasies would make joint decision-making difficult. However, he believed the father was a competent parent, despite his flaws. The psychiatrist acknowledged that the mother had some minor flaws as well, but overall believed her to be more sensitive to the son's needs. He therefore recommended that the mother have final decision-making authority in all areas. Both the mother and father testified, largely blaming each other for their inability to work together. Despite the acrimony between the parents, they had managed to largely agree on major issues, but not minor issues, such as the son's extracurricular activities and how long he would attend summer camp. 